I'm going to show you today how to rebuild your CR85 or CR80 Honda motor. For the purpose of this demonstration, I've removed my motor, but it's not necessary. If you're doing it in the dirt bike, you can leave it in the frame. Here's the motor. I don't think we ordered any pizzas. Why don't I uh, place this on your table? First, we're going to remove the head right here. Now that you've removed your head and head gasket, you can decide if you uh, need to rebuild it. This piston is actually still good, but I'm going to go ahead and rebuild it because I've got an eight hour race next weekend. Okay, and the next step is to remove the jug, and that's going to be these four bolts here. Next, you're going to remove the jug and you will probably need a rubber mallet to tap the jug to get it loose because it's held in place with dowel pins. After you've re removed the jug, you're going to want to put a towel down here under the piston to keep any little pieces of metal or your sir clips from the piston that I'll show you later from falling into the motor. That's going to cause a big headache if it happens, so make sure you shove a rag in here. Now take some time to inspect the inside of your cylinder for any wear or damage. This one's pretty good, and uh, now's the time when you're going to decide if you need to actually hone the cylinder. Uh, you can't actually see it with my crappy camera, but this one's pretty good. Now we're going to remove the piston. You start by removing this sir clip, then you're going to remove the wrist pin and the piston will slide off. You're also going to want to replace this bearing. Now that piston, now that you look at it, it's got a little bit more wear on it than I had originally thought. So it's always a good idea to replace this every 8 to 10 hours. And that's it for the disassembly. Now we're going to start with the assembly. Now you're going to want to gap the ring. And this is an important step. It'll keep your motor from seizing. You take the ring. You install it into the cylinder, like so, and you're going to take your piston and use the piston to square it up, shove that down into the bore into a good, good place, and I don't know if you see here, there's your, your gap right there. You're going to want to measure that with a feeler gauge. And my gap needs to be widened some. I'm going to take the ring and it's flat, small file. You can't see very well because my camera's focusing on my shirt. You're going to want to file that end gap. Just press the gap together over the file and run it through. And then you're going to want to clean up the edges so you don't score your cylinder. It shouldn't really be that much. And then you check the gap again. The ring gap needs to be between 0.27 and 0.43. I've got my filler gauge at 0.28 and it goes through there just fine. Now I'm going to open it a little bit more because I like to be in the middle of the range. Alright, now you install your ring onto your piston. There's going to be a little pin. Put the end gap on the pin. Can't really illustrate that, but there you go. Now we've got two new sir clips, Honda of course, I only use Honda pistons because they make more power than the Weiss Co stuff, and you're going to insert a uh, sir clip into one side of your piston, only put one sir clip in. Now you're going to take your bearing and oil it, insert it into your conrod. Now where did my wrist pin go? 
get your wrist pin out of the package. Which would be easier if I hadn't lost my knife. In on the piston goes towards the intake, towards your carburetor. Set that over, oil your piston or your wrist pin. Slide it in. You're going to install your second circ clip to hold your wrist pin in. Alright, now we're ready to go back together. Install your new head gasket. I've already done that. And you're going to want to put the jug back on. You're going to have to compress the ring, but it's fairly simple. It just slides back on. Make sure the dowels are in the proper locations and line up. And tap it into place. Just like that. Install your clutch cable retainer like so with this tab to the back. You're going to want to put all your bolts on finger tight at first, then tighten them down sequentially to 27 newton meters. Now by sequentially, I mean do 5, then 10, and then go around and do 15, and then go to your 27 newton meters for the final. All right, we have all our head bolts on finger tight. Now we take our handy dandy Craftsman torque wrench and tighten to 27 newton meters as I said before. Now you're going to install your new head gasket with this tab back with the up facing up see up up tab back now these gaskets are metal but it's a one-time use because it does compress when you put it on and you reinstall your head Reinstall your head bolts and tighten again to 27 newton meters. And then you are done. Throw it back in your bike and go kick some dirt.